What is going on guys, it is the Spider Pumpkin here and today I'm going to be showing you a cool little texture tutorial on what you can do in Borderlands 2 and you can create your own skins. Yeah, as you can see here is my poorly created skin and um, I'm going to be showing this off today for you and um, as you can see how bad this is made but um, it literally took me 5 minutes, I mean I'm just looking through all the heads I have and um, I did not realize I have most of the heads in the game but um, whatever. I mean, that's cool me. I don't have the one from Vermivorous, I don't think. That's the ha 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 ha. However long that goes on to for. And then maybe I don't have the one from Terramorphous. I don't really know. But um yeah, I'm gonna show you how to make that, but I'm gonna be doing a zero just as an example. And um there's some imperfections on this on this skin as you can see the left hand is very poorly drawn. And as you, I just have the one blotch there. But anyways, we're going to cut really soon um, just so I can... I'm just going to like Alt F4 um, somewhere. And um, we're just going to get right into it. It do take a lot of editing and cuts out of this because one portion of the time I just took like 20 minutes just figuring out wh how to get my toolbox back. But um, you guys should have that by default when you open up the app. And, um, I mean, if you really don't want to use the app, I mean, it's perfectly fine. You can just use Paint on Windows computers, and, um, that works pretty good. But if you want to get a better sort of look, GIMP is free. It's, um, the link I'm going to be giving you is, ver is um, virus-free. And, um, same thing with the GIMP Save Editor. And you should be fine. You need both of those apps if you want to make this as easy as you want. But, um, if you want to use Paint, it might take you a little while to make it look most likely better than mine I mean if you use any sort of app you and you take like t even 10 minutes with using the paint you could probably make it better than mine but um I mean mine was just a quick sort of thingy just to uh and I'll show you what GIMP is and um I just uh created my skin really fast and um we're just gonna let GIMP load here and what you do with GIMP is um with with Windows you can hit it at the top of the screen it'll completely open up into as wide as it is just a little windows tip and um, here we are we're just gonna take any sort of like tool and I'm gonna cut somewhere here right there and not there actually I didn't cut yet there I cut and um, there if you want to save it I mean you just right click hit file and then go down to replace and um, that saves it so you're good there and um, pretty much we're just gonna close that down and we're gonna go into Borderlands. We're gonna start finding these textures in Borderlands, and these are fairly easy textures. You can't really get them to go permanently, but I mean, they're skins. You're not really gonna look at it. I mean, it's kind of like a. I don't think novelty is the correct word. Probably not. But um, anyways, I'm just gonna choose the Nahalism head ish. If that's how you say it, you can use any of these heads really. But um, Nahalism is easiest. Please correct me how to say that word. I do not really know how to. S I don't know all of these heads except for Blast Shield. Pretty easy to pronounce. But um, yeah, we're just gonna choose this, and um, at the end, this zero skin looks extremely hilarious because it is so poorly created and as you can see it will turn out extremely horrible at the end we're gonna go looking for these textures it does take me a while I should have hit the negative key to go backwards because that's where the textures uh, the ones I was looking for are located you don't want that one that's a um, lighting texture I don't recommend changing anything other than the files I'm gonna be showing you and what I've been noticing with uh, uh, not what is it text mod is um, I'll probably put that in the link also is that um, it doesn't it makes my computer run a little slower with Borderlands but I, it's it's whatever I mean it does make a cooler aspect to the game but um, I mean you could really do whatever it does it doesn't make any weapons overpowered doesn't do any of that it will just simply change the textures to make the game fit suit your fancy float your boat whatever you want to say I don't even know if the first saying it was even correct but um i'm just going to go through all these textures and here we are we're really close we're going to just scroll through and um it's going to be this te not that texture i don't know what to do with those i'm really confused about it but um they help you 
kind of make the the skin in constant like looking like this I mean the the skin itself like the um, the body um, not the head any free thing else like limbs and stuff that will pretty much stay um, however you create it most of the time and um, here we are there's the head and um, pretty much if you just create the head it it kind of it'll change it won't stay permanently all the time it will just like change back and forth and um, it, it's kind of weird so we're just gonna alt F4 somewhere around here I mean those were all the things and I'm just gonna hold it down see all the textures in the game that I had filtered so I mean if you find a better spot I do recommend so because um yeah we're gonna alt F4 here and uh, we're into uh, what's it called GIMP yeah I was gonna say GIMP save editor but no it's not GIMP save editor it's not GIMP GIB Okay, I'm going on a really random train here of dots, and it's getting really annoying. But anyways, we're going to go into GIMP, and we're just going to open it up. We're going to drag in the folders that we recently got, which is somewhere. So this is not live talking, editing, talking. We're going to cut here. Bam. This is my final product, and obviously this is not really going to count. So I'm going to save it over this file, and we're just going to we're just gonna open it. We're not, yeah, as you see, the hair there's the head created correctly. And um, since I overlapped instead of actually closed down the thing, open it back up again as a new thing or as a new layer or whatever, as a new sort of file, I'm gonna edit it. Will save over. Um, this is, is I'm gonna make this really easy. It will save over um, the head, and this is what makes it so weird is because I have this head texture it's all like weird and stuff and that's put on my on the face of my character so I just put in a couple little streaks here just so I can uh, sort of recognize where parts are because looking at this I really have no idea what I'm looking at I, because the Kree model is, is so much easier to read and like map out so I just take like the color like orange and um, I just put like little streaks around just so I can kind of um, get an idea of where everything is but that really won't help because um as you can see it will be put on my head so it's really not that good and um yeah I just put a couple streaks I think that's the back I put the Y on the chest I put a streak wherever that place is I don't even know if that's like the calf or what um it does look like the butt because you can see like a little marking looks like a butt but anyways I just saw this ammo pack so I'm coloring that in orange but it won't help Anyways, um, had a little pause there because I was going to cough, but I messed up the last recording, coughing, so i um, not doing it this time. Almost at the end, two minutes left, and we're going to keep going strong. Anyways, we're going to load, we're going to actually save it into the texture build, and um, I'm going to click on my previous file. We're going to go into, not loading, but uh, package mode, and we're just going to cross that out. Um, click the previous file because I don't know how that really worked. I mean, but whatever. We're just gonna go into give. I just like to cross that just to, like make sure it's the file that was recent. And uh, we're gonna go into give here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna hit open file. And from there, we're just gonna click into the game file. I remember that my zero is um, saved too. So what you wanna do since we created the blank texture of your guys' skin, just scroll all the way up on give and um, click none. So um, this actually has so pretty much the texture we created um, the the normal texture of zero as pretty much whatever we want without any skins being applied and that's what I did for my Cree and it worked out perfectly and um, it's pretty good so yeah we're gonna go in I just changed the head to Nahalism we're gonna save it go into the game file again click save to and um, we're gonna cut into Borderlands here because it's gonna take forever to load in about a couple more seconds Anyways, we're going to cut into Borderlands here, and as you can see, my hand is red, completely not what I made, and my head is orange, not orange, green. <coughs> oh my god, no, not going to cough, oh my god, guys, I'm probably going to see you guys in the good one, because I cannot keep this cough back, and um, anyways, I'm back, I just had to cut out there, and um, anyways, that's my head, and um, it looks pretty random and quite 
full of nonsense. I'm going to cut out that part. I'm going to have a little voice skip because I did cough and I don't want that in the audio and I didn't want to mess this one up. As you can see, I'm going to try working on this skin, make it look a little cooler. But anyways, guys, I'm going to see you in the good one. This is a little more trying to keep it on the track of professional. Anyways, the time's about to run out and um, I got to see you guys in the good one.